So with Kawaki as broken as he is right now, with him awakening a new dojutsu which he inherited from Ishiki, a lot of us are trying to figure out what new jutsu were Boruto inherit from Momoshiki to get him to a similar level to Kawaki. Today we're going to be answering this question as we discuss what jutsus Boruto is most likely going to inherit from Momoshiki. Before we answer this question, we have to discuss and try and figure out who exactly gave Boruto his karma. Is it base Momoshiki or Fuse Momoshiki? Some people believe that it is base Momoshiki because he is always in his base form when we see him in the manga and the anime. I personally disagree because it will only make sense that Boruto inherited Fuse Momoshiki's karma instead of base Momoshiki's. Here's why. First of all, we have to define who Fuse Momoshiki is. In the anime, we see Momoshiki transform Kinchiki into a chakra fruit and then he proceeds to eat him. This means that Momoshiki did not fuse with Kinchiki in a similar fashion that we see people fusing in Dragon Ball Z. Instead, consuming would be a better word to describe exactly what took place in this situation. In addition, we know that Momoshiki gave Boruto his karma right before he died. He grabbed Boruto's hand and gave him the karma. The process by which he gave him the karma is quite similar to the way Ishiki gave Kawaki the karma by grabbing his hand and giving him the karma. In addition, this did not take place in Boruto's consciousness as Sasuke was able to see what was happening, which means that it happened in a different dimension. This dimension is probably similar to the dimension Madara's limbo could be found, as Sasuke was the only one who could see Madara's limbo. And right after Boruto and Momoshiki's conversation is when we see Boruto with the karma, indicating that it is during this time which Boruto received his karma. Now with the explanation out of the way, and we have realized that Boruto has inherited both Momoshiki and Kinshiki's abilities, we have to talk about what jutsus Boruto will get. So my community came up with a lot of different jutsus that Boruto can inherit. The first jutsu that we're going to be talking about is Kinshiki's ability to create weapons out of his chakra. This ability is extremely useful and could provide Boruto with a new type of fighting style where Boruto learns how to use multiple different sword styles in the time skip. However, there is one personal issue that I see. If Boruto's weapons are made out of chakra, wouldn't it mean that people like Kawaki and those who have the karma be able to absorb Boruto's weapons? This is very interesting, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Because if this is the case, wouldn't Sasuke just absorb Kinshiki's weapon when they fought together as he was using the Renegon? This is something that is very interesting and we need to have an explanation for what exactly Kinshiki's abilities are in the future. Now, Firen believes that Boruto could end up getting the ability to see in the future just like Momoshiki. In the anime and the manga, Momoshiki is the one who prophesizes that Boruto will lose everything. In addition, it is very important to understand that Momoshiki's ability to see in the future is something that he cannot see clearly. As we learn in chapter 69, that he cannot see Boruto's future clearly. This opens up a possibility of seeing Boruto potentially getting depressed as he knows what will happen in the future through Momoshiki's abilities. This is something that he will not be able to see clearly, but it is something that could turn him into a character similar to Aaron or other depressed characters. Next we have Heatwave, he basically talks about the different possibilities and variations that we could see with Boruto's Rasengan. And this is very interesting to me, as we see through Momoshiki's abilities and use of the Rasengan, that there are different ways and multiple ways that the Rasengan can be used in the anime. This would mean that Boruto would figure out and find new ways that he could use the Rasengan. Personally, I am tired of seeing Boruto defeat every enemy he has with the Rasengan over and over over again. We already have Naruto for that. So this would mean that Boruto would have to learn different ways of using the Rasengan, just like Momoshiki has done in the past. The Rasengan is a beautiful example of this. Nobody would have thought that we could use the Rasengan as a gun. Now we have to talk about one more thing, and this is whether Boruto will awaken the Renegon. This is definitely a possibility, as Momoshiki awakened the Renegon himself. But if I am personally honest, I don't really see this happening. And we have Sasuke as an example, who never uses the Renegon. 
So why would they bring back the Renegon if you already have Sasuke who had the Renegon but never used it? This is because the Renegon is too broken. The Renegon has too many amazing abilities and jutsus that makes the character basically invincible. Imagine Sasuke just almighty pushed Ishiki and blew him away. This would not make sense due to the difference in power they both have. Kijimoto made the Renegon too strong and it seems like he is trying to get rid of it entirely. So I personally don't see Boruto awakening the Renegon, however I believe that they will focus more on the Jogan. So what abilities do you think Boruto will awaken first? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to know who are the missing Otsutsukis that are potentially in the village right now, watch this video right here and make sure you watch the whole thing. I need some hospitality and love from all of you guys.